lose watching Chosen get owned by Chosen, or Chosen to be banned. Yep, got it at the same time, I think. Last, to it. I'll try and squeeze into the tunnel in the second place for the, uh, the relief guard. Probably if everybody's going to move up past me, which I'll do in a second. At that point, I should, in theory, be able to squeeze in there. Let's see. Let's do this. March forward. Oh, actually, there's zero chance of getting right into the tunnel. Is it for this? Oh, I just crazy busy at the tunnel. Look at this ram. Wow, crazy guys, eh? There's popping, there's madness. Stay in the tunnel for the next hour. It's too busy to move. I'm not even sure how I managed to get into this spot. It's like a queue going back. Uh, queue outside Camden Palace 50 years ago. It's a pilgrimage, everybody. People are flooding towards Farris Square to uh, to pay tribute to the to the king. <laughs> Mad this, eh? Now, is anyone going to be foolish enough to walk through the box? That's the key question. They're tempted, I can tell they're tempted. The temptation is there, it's palpable. Okay, guys, I'll do it because no one else will. If you wish. Once the gates actually are uh, accessible, I'll try and get out. Look, right now I'm stuck. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, we're all having to wait, look. Okay, they're finally gonna open the central gates, I think. That was certainly, no, actually not. They're locked. I don't know if they got stuck where the troopers came out to unlock them. But the central gates are closed and, uh, and appear to be jammed. Just like the front here, look. Even the troop is giving up all hope. There is? You want to go and see that one as well? Oh, I love it. Look at this, first time ever. The troop is telling everybody to move back and stop crowding the horse. That's a first, isn't it, for this channel? Absolute first. Oh, move back and stop crowding the horse. Oh. Did you hear that, guys? Did you even say it? I'm pretty sure it would have come up in the live. Lion, look at this way. Look at us. Look at us. this way. Yeah, got it. Come on, let's look before that guy. I don't, I don't, I don't, Oh my god. That's a good picture. Oh, oh, that's a never ever heard that before. I mean, it is pretty busy. Oh. Strap yourself a bag. Maybe multiple troopers here. One trooper telling everybody to move back is going to do nothing. No disrespect to the trooper, but the second he's not here, they all flood back. You need at least two troopers, one each side of the horse, permanently, to keep people as, as far back as they'd like to keep them. Because, as you're going to see, everybody's going to crowd back again around the horse in a minute. And it's not their fault because a lot of people don't know. They just turn up here and then boom. All of a sudden, a massive crowd. Oh, we are, in fact. Yeah, Rose has got a soft spot for the lifeguards, apparently. Very good point. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he can maintain his poker face. Between now and the end of the inspection at four o'clock. Will he? I don't know. He might. <laughs> Smiling. Yeah, missed the smile. Maddie, is that actually your brother? A bit of folly just in case you're being serious. Is it? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Maddie, could you do something for me? Could you send me your brother's Insta uh, and I will follow him? You can message me here on, on TikTok or you can send me on, it on Insta. Either or. Pleasure to, uh, to follow your brother's account. He's a bit of a star. Thank you, Manny. Yeah, he's a good man. Very, very popular here at, uh, at Horse Guards, both with the tourists and with us viewers. Thank you very much, Manny. It's very kind of you. Appreciate it. I think he's beautiful, isn't he? I'm not sure if they're talking about the guard or the horse. Both, perhaps. Yep, and rightly so, Manny. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's very popular, this guy. <laughs> Trying hard not to smile. He knows the uh, power that smile has over the over the viewers. <laughs> Plus, one interesting thing, guys, just struck me. When we first came across this guard in a big way, he was in the arches. He was a chitsman standing in the arches. Yes, Maddie, yeah, we saw your uncle earlier. Um, and your, your dad was actually here in the chat briefly. Your dad, Alan, was here in the chat earlier. We, we definitely saw your uncle. He came along and spoke to, uh, spoke to his nephew on the horse. That was about an hour and a half ago. Um, but you know, I was saying, sorry, so he was a chitsman um, when we first came across him in a big way, when he smiled. Uh, now he's a boxman. So this guard is a very rare example of one of the lifeguards that does both. Boxman, chitsman, chitsman, boxman. Great thing to say. We know that most of them don't do that. Most of them are one or the other. So uh, not only has he got a great smile, but he's super versatile, this guy. 
uh, Busker and I tend to focus on a different horse at the same time. Why? Because if something happens, one of us will capture it. That's why. His point is to have you know five people filming the same horse with the other horse having nobody film uh, filming it. I am indeed. I am back. Good friends? Yeah, well, I've known him a long time. We get on pretty well. There's no sort of agreement, but you know, it just it just works better when one person's at one end and one person's at the other end. It just it just seems like a logical solution. And so far it seems to work pretty well. Uh, no it's not, it's not my job, it's uh, it's a hobby, it's a pastime. It's a very enjoyable one I might add. Hey Scott, welcome. Thank you, Sam. Coming from Kenya. Wow. All right, let's see if this boys is going to start to roll up uh, in this final 45 minutes. Uh, yep, Royal Guards. Lifeguards, officially, but yes, Royal Guards. Guarding the entrance, the ceremonial entrances of Buckingham Palace. Jewels? Which jewels? Judge jewels? Or crown jewels? You were literally just next to me, I can't believe it, right next to me. You little spoil sport. End of day sunshine, folks. Second, look at this live break that keeps popping up. One second, this campaign, blah, 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 creators, viewers, how does this work? Live pro, one second. Okay, so apparently from the 14th of August to the 18th of August is this live pro competition. Wait, what's the date today, guys? 10th, 11th, 12th, one second. 12th. I'll try and find out more about that at the time. Live Pro. Interesting. Uh, the bell tolls here every 15 minutes. It's a quarter hourly bell. And uh, what does it mean? It means tourist peasants get on your knees. No, come back. We're gonna have a chat. No, um, what happens is it's not every 15 minutes, but usually on the 15 minutes, no, 15, not 50, on the 15 minute toll of the bell, the guard will walk their rounds. So sometimes they'll come out the front here, sometimes they'll go into the tunnel, sometimes they won't even move at all. It's very much at the guard's discretion where they go and how long they spend there. Sometimes, and we'll see this within the next seven days, is all I'm gonna say about that. We will see some guards come out the front here and stand here, static, for a good period of time. Aren't you supposed to guard rules? Okay, let's give it a view. Silly person, just, you know, whatever your name is, bye bye to you. Thank you and goodbye. Sorry, just get rid of the sillies, folks. Well done. Well, okay, thank you. This hobby on TikTok, okay, the account is exactly seven months old. So that's how long ago my little TikTok hobby, hobby started. And boom, here we are. Seems to be going rather well. I mean, to be honest, if I'm out on about and I'm filming this, I watch it anyway. You know, I might as well share it with you guys. Hello, Sharon. Hi, welcome. I mean, I could play golf. I could play chess. I could collect stamps. I could even 
watch football. Well, what's the point? I could be out here. A lot of the toys don't give the horse a hug. A lot of the toys give the horse a kiss. We saw that again, in fact, this morning. Somebody kiss, kiss, kiss all over the horse. Kristen, yep, Sharon was indeed her for her birthday. I met Sharon the day before yesterday. Pretty sure it was the day before yesterday. And now I'm going to feel bad if it wasn't Sharon. I'm sure it was, so it wasn't on yesterday. What was the day before yesterday? Yeah, Thursday. Whoopsie. Literally, cat. Okay, that's really cute. It's a pity, actually. I wasn't here yesterday. It would have been nice to say hi, but yeah, I had a day off yesterday. It was, that makes sense. I kind of lost track of time, Sharon, because when I have a day off, everything kind of gets a bit muddled. So today, for me, feels like it's Friday, but it's actually Saturday. No, it's not. <laughs> no, I mean, it's been a while since we had a long guard. Very curious, eh? A hell of a long time. Hey, thank you, Red Hat Coco. I can't remember how long it's been since we had a long guard. Two weeks, even three weeks. Ages since we last heard the trumpeter. Which is odd. I wonder where the king's been all of this time. It's not a little horse. I guess this horse is probably, what, 15-2, folks? What do we think? 15-3 is hard to say, actually. It's nowhere near the big, 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 big horse. Oh, wait, I got the kids. Hold on one second. Wait, I'm not sure if I'm in your way. So I'm in your way. No, they're just watching you on your live. Oh, yeah. oh, you're actually watching the live while I'm yeah. filming it? Yeah. Ah, wait, if you go back to the horse, you'll be in it, and your mum and dad can take a picture of you guys on the live, or on the phone. Does that make sense? That's so cool. If I hold it right, right there. Where's the camera on this? Excuse me. Don't go too close to the horse, though. Tell me, don't grab the reins. Of course, you can go as close as you want. I know they're going to blush now. Look. Thank you. <laughs> they're going to keep a straight face. Uh, there you were, girls, on the first ever live. <laughs> Pleasure, guys, yeah? Take it easy. <laughs> Very dirty city. Uh, not as dirty as you getting banned. By... Imagine that actually saying that London is a dirty city. I guess that you must live in Mon Monte Carlo if you think London's dirty. Extraordinary thing to say, but anyway, there we are. No, I did wonder why they were giggling. They were getting a little bit um, giggly because they realised that they were almost in the live before, so that's why I invited them to be in the live so that their, their parents could get a picture. Yeah, I know, can you imagine? If you think London's dirty, then I'd love to know which cities people would regard as being cleaner. The only country, an entire country, I would say, is definitely much cleaner that I've been to, and I would freely admit it's much cleaner than the UK, is Switzerland. And then, you know, it's a tiny country in comparison. It's also a very rich country, so it's not really surprising it's so clean. I did, yeah, I often do hear my voice. <laughs> Where is the sounds? I often do hear my, my own voice on the live, sometimes I open it on my other phone. Uh, I'm in Oxford, London. Is it any cleaner than Oxford? Hey, uh, I lived in Oxford for eight and a half years. I know the city exceedingly well. And you know what? Oxford, certainly the city centre part along the high street, it's an all day, it's filthy. It's at the weekends when it's packed with tourists, it's an absolute filthy hole. They need far more street cleaners in Oxford at the weekends. It's much, much dirtier than central London. Okay, I know Oxford very well, and uh, yeah, Oxford needs a, a lot more attention at the weekends. Too many tourists in Oxford, and few, too, uh, too few rubbish bins. Sadly, to be honest. What's the green thing on the green thing on the ground? Oh, it's a leaf. Yeah, it's, it's a leaf. Somebody who came along to make matcha tea. The only problem is they forgot the teapot. Uh, no, he's, this is not the guard that yelled the other day. He's not here today, interestingly. He's part of the same troop as these lifeguards we're looking at now. But no, the guard that, that shouted is not here today. It's interesting. I'm not sure why he's not. 
Um, and I'm not sure who his replacement is. But yeah, he's not here today. It's a shame. He's a good guy. I like the, uh, that guy. <laughs> London isn't cleaner than Kampala. I'm not sure about that. Hey, I haven't been to Kampala, so I couldn't really tell you whether or not I agree with you. I will take your word for it. How about that? Kampala versus London. Hey, I'm glad that you loved it. Rightly so. Yeah, Oxford, I mean, to be honest, there's no different. All of the tourist cities, Cambridge is the same. And obviously Stratford-upon-Avon gets a massive number of tourists. Just not enough cleaners. I mean, no respect to the people that keep the city clean, but just too many tourists, too many uh, coffee shops with you know, discarded cups everywhere. Oxford's got a real problem with litter. Massive problem. If he yelled at you, you'd yell back. You know what? You wouldn't. Why wouldn't you? For two reasons. One, everyone would look at you like you're completely stupid. And secondly, you'd end up looking completely stupid. Uh, so that's why you wouldn't yell back. But I know a lot of people think they would, but you know what? You wouldn't. Trust me. Norway again, yeah, small rich country. Oh, second, let me get myself back. Horses getting a little bit cheeky. But yeah, well, Brighton's got a lot of social problems. We know that Brighton's got a massive homelessness problem. It is what it is. He's running forward. He can't keep away. We are super close, guys. That magic round 334k mark as well. And it isn't following people, follow, yeah? We're at 333.7. It'd be great to finish there at 334. Then tomorrow we'll aim for 335. We're crazy, crazy, crazy close. Are we actually adding up what we had in the previous live with this one? We're very close to 100k likes on the live as well. Uh, do the horses get breaks? Yes, they do. Uh, 17 hours on, 15 minutes off, which I think is, is fair, to be honest. We all know that horse can stand up for two weeks without drinking or eating, so you know, 17 hours is not unreasonable. Is that, yes, that's right. Yeah. Exactly, that's the way it should be. If these horses are overworked, they work here for six months without a break, so I think it's fair. Is 2023, is this even necessary? That's a good question, actually. I mean, is anything fundamentally necessary in life? I mean, yes, it's fundamental that we breathe, otherwise we're going to die. It's fundamental that we eat, otherwise we're going to die. Is it fundamentally necessary to have the guards here? It's not. Simple as that. But then a lot in this world is not fundamentally necessary, yet it still happens. Why does it happen? Because it's always happened. So why would we change it? I'm a firm believer in that. Uh, very simple. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. This is a perfect example of that. If they've been sitting here doing this for 140 odd years, give or take, why would you want to abolish it? To replace it with what? Nothing? I was going to would you prefer to see the gates closed with no horses here? I wouldn't. It is. It's tradition, it's heritage, it's custom, it's history, pageantry, all of those things. As a country that you know, has a proud and long history in many respects, I don't see anything wrong with it, personally. I think it's a glorious thing. It's my opinion. I know a lot of people disagree with me, but I think it's wonderful. Especially the boots. It is a beautiful tradition, yeah. And it's a unique tradition. I think that's another important thing to bear in mind. Yeah, I mean, some of the guys and the girls, in fact, that are in the armoured division uh, don't get to ride the horses. Uh, a lot of people forget about that. Household cavalry is quite large. So a lot of HCAV, what is it might sound, a lot of people that are in this cavalry regiment never get near the horse because they're down in Bullford. I think it's Bullford, correct me if I'm wrong, people. Um, with the mechanical armour side of things. 100%, yeah, I, I personally think this should be here long, long, long after I'm gone. Cool. 
what, what would be the replacement for this? Nothing? I think it would be pointless. I mean, unless, for example, a foreign government donated two giraffes, okay, that were very happy for guards to sit on their, their backs. They could change it to giraffe guards. Then the problem is I'm not sure the neck will fit in the box. It's the only downside. Exactly, Debbie, yeah, exactly. How do the soldiers feel about this job? I mean, they love it, otherwise they wouldn't have joined up. I don't have any soldiers say, saying to me ever, oh, I made a mistake, oh, I hate my job, oh, I wish I wasn't doing this, oh, I wish I was, you know, a lawyer. Never happens. No, they're not military police. Uh, they are in the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment. So not military police. Uh, they do have bathroom breaks, yep, after one hour. That's when the bathroom breaks come along. Thank you, Lex. Okay, a little bit of attention to the other horse before I come back here and then we'll go inside afterwards. It's now half past. I'm not talking about paying attention to horses. That's a nice surprise coming through the gate. That's uh, police horse guards. Is the horse uncomfortable? I mean, I could try and speak to him, but I'm pretty sure he won't be able to reply in fluent English. So I'm not really sure is the honest answer to that question. He might be. Then again, he might not be. It's weird, actually. Not only are there a lot of flies about today, butterflies. We noticed earlier a lot of butterflies. Do the British like King Charles? Depends who you ask. Some people do, other people don't. You know, we're a free country, we're a parliamentary democracy. People are allowed to like or dislike whoever they please. Yeah, the police, yeah, police always one came out of each gate because for some reason they've kept the central gates locked. So, yeah, they came out of each side gate, unusually enough. A lot, there have been a lot. I did wonder, in fact, it's rare to see butterflies fluttering around in central London, but maybe there's been a hell of a lot. Oh, let me try not to get owned here. It's close. How's the pay? Enough to live in central London. Public and the police. <laughs> Generally, in fact, it's a pretty good one. The majority of people respect the police, think they do a good job. Obviously, a lot of people don't. Again, yeah. Uh, their choice. Yeah, you know, central London is a, is a very expensive place, not just to live in, but even to exist in. What was that? My head in the back. I put a piece of Ah. I never thought of trying that. Is it, is it, um, do you get that to the Nah. No? But what, what did it say to the when you finish? I just thought it. Did it get to As what, the 1080p maximum? Nah, nah. Is that to me is the key thing, really? I'd love to be able to save it in 1080p, but I also, I've got, annoying as it is, I've got something called stream play. Maybe a stream play last week. My own stream play. Yeah, it's a good stream play. It's a good stream play. Yeah, I've got a stream play. But the problem is, there's no Android software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's no Android software to stream on both. It doesn't exist. You can bring your laptop to use OBS. Can't win there, literally. Okay, sorry folks, just talking to my friend there for a second. Uh, this is a bit okay. I think it's okay. Oh, look at the numbers here. Yes, that's a good question. It really comes down to budget, to be honest. Everything in London is about, you know, your budget. Uh, if your budget is, you know, high. Oh, you seem too happy there. It's funny, actually. Sometimes we see these like, really forced smiles. People march their kids over. 
clearly not in a good mood, full smile for the camera and then leave. If it's laggy, just restart the app. It's not a not descent, it's your in locally. Hey, good afternoon to you as well, Joe. Thank you. When can we talk to the king? The king's going to be here in 15 minutes, actually. Uh, we're going to have a sit-down chat in the arches. He said as a one-time exception that he and I are allowed to go into the arches. So if you stay tuned, uh, in 15 minutes, His Majesty will be here for the first ever TikTok live interview. So you can join just at the right time. Just hold on. Coming up soon. I'm not sure if he's going to be on camera yet. I'll ask him when he gets here. Probably might have is that Harry's here as well. I'm not sure they get on too well these days. At journey time though, Heathrow, I mean, yes, you could stay near Heathrow for a lot cheaper than central London, but every day you'd lose two hours on the commute. It's 45 minutes actually on the tube itself from Heathrow to central London. Times two, there you go, bingo, it's an hour and a half gone before you even get out of your hotel, walk to the tube. I wouldn't do it. He's going to make John a royal guard. Uh, royal guard emeritus. Royal guard of the, of the poo, perhaps, yeah. My job to clean up the mess. To be honest, it's what I deserve. I'm here a lot, so I should probably bring a shovel with me sometimes. Uh, pleasure, guys. Yeah, definitely Airbnb. I would always go with Airbnb before any other option. Every single time, I really would. Much, much more reasonable. The prices of Airbnb is much more reasonable than, uh, than staying in a hotel. The only, the only reason I would justify staying and paying cent from the hotel prices is if you actually need the facilities of the hotel. Okay. In other words, do you need somebody to carry up your luggage? Do you need somebody to go outside and hail a taxi for you? Do you need a spa? Do you need this, that, and everything else? No, do you need high quality Egyptian cotton sheets, blah, 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 blah? If you do, pay for it. If not, save your money. Central London hotels are very well appointed and they're beautiful, and very comfortable to stay in, but my God, they're expensive. But they're always full. Um, in fact, next month, beginning of next month, London's newest five-star hotel is opening, Peninsula. They've just finished it. Last week they finished it. They're just doing the outside now, making sure everything's ready. But yes, the Peninsula. Me too, Debbie, but not always. It depends. You know, if I'm uh, traveling by myself, I'm happy to sleep on the floor. Hey, welcome back, Susan. Welcome. So there is that, you know, it comes down to budget. Any room in a five-star hotel in Central London, you look at a minimum of £500 a night, and that's a very small size room. Yep, I like sleeping on the floor, plus I like sitting on the floor, as all you guys know. I'm not a fussy person. Yep, his majesty's on the way, Julie. He'll be here in probably about seven and a half minutes unless he cancels en route. If you're traveling in a group of three or more, Airbnb is always the better option in a hotel, okay, without a doubt. And a lot of central London hotels won't even let three people stay in the same room, unless one happens to be a young child. If there are three of you splitting a two or three bedroom Airbnb, Bingo, it works out to be super cheap. You can get a decent two or three bed Airbnb right in the center for £200 a night. Which, to be honest, compared to a hotel is a bargain. Hundred dollars in pounds, uh, eighty-ish. It will take roughly eighty, eighty-two, I think. They, they, they definitely pay Shaggy at the Guard Disco. I've been there myself. 
Yep. In fact, I've, I've been told that uh, Shaggy is one of the favourite favourite artists of, uh, of DJ Jesus, Jesus Fins, apparently. HCAP DJ. I cannot believe today that not one single person has grabbed the reins hard. It's been weeks since we went by with the whole day without anybody spoiling it. Hey, occasionally. Yep, I wasn't actually lying. There is um I won't I won't refer to who it is, but how do we say this? Yeah, one of our beloved captains um, is uh, is the household cavalry DJ. There we are. Oh, I said about eighty dollars, seventy-eight, eighty-two. Probably get a bit less than that though. That's, that's the official exchange rate. You'd be lucky to clear seventy-five. I'm much intrigued to know which captain we're going to get today. Anyone want to guess? I've got no clue, people. No clue which captain it is. So what do we think, people? <laughs> what can I say? Lady captain? I mean, I hope so. She's a lifeguard, by the way. Let's hope so. The only lifeguard. I don't know if it will be her, guys. I've got no idea if it will. We'll see. It depends, Jess, where you're staying. Um, if you want to DM me, Jess, um, I've just followed you back, Jess. If you want to send me a DM, let me know about where you're thinking of staying and stuff. I'm happy to, uh, uh, to, you know, to, to reply and help out with advice in terms of the best spots to stay in and the best way to get around when you're in London. So I've just followed you, so you can, you can DM me. You're welcome to do that. My pleasure. Thank you, Moggy. Yep, 20 minutes. I'll be going in at about 10 minutes too. Yeah, you're right actually, your horse is very much like Black Beauty, and this horse is almost a Black Beauty. <laughs> 67 years old and never been in England. Oh, it's okay. Hey, you still have time. Uh, I'm, I'm 77, this is my first time in London, so it proves it's possible. A lot of you guys don't know that I'm, uh, I'm super old. I just sound young. 333.8 three, three guys, we're super close to that target of 334. Will we make it today? We don't we'll make it tomorrow. Uh, yes, the regimental numbers are visible on the hooves. It depends on if the hooves are clean. But I can I mean visually I can see them right now. Look. If we zoom in, you'll be able to see just about hold on. See? Oh, obviously it's always had to walk in, but yes, you can see the numbers here. Engraved on the ho horse's hooves. Oh, Joey, you missed it. Yeah, the king was here a second ago. Didn't you see him? Yeah, the king was right next to me. He was here. Sorry if you missed it. I'm not sure if he's going to come back again today. Yeah, he's a very busy man, so he was only on the live with me for seven seconds. Sorry about that. Oh, that scared the life out of the tourist. <laughs> that really made this lady jump to my left. She jumped her straight away. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty quick move, whatever he did there, and whatever he did it for. Everybody jumped, including me. Watching Nicaragua, wow. Well, Oh, what's this? A cat running across the screen. I've never seen that before. Thank you to whoever just uh, just sent that. Beautiful to see. Very cute. <laughs> I never saw that cat thing before. That's amazing. Wow. Hey, Heather. 
What was the king doing when I, when he was uh, he came along to show me a new 50 big coin? Uh, he said, look, if it, he said to me, if I toss this coin, there's a very good chance that you'll see my face. And he tossed it and it landed um, rem remarkably on the top of my phone with his majesty's face on it. Yeah, I've never ever seen that before. So yeah, he just came along to, uh, to show me the new coin. More horses wandering out into the road. Yep. So sorry guys, everybody that missed his majesty. He was just here on the live. Yeah, sorry everyone that missed it. Hopefully he'll uh, he'll pop back maybe tomorrow or the day after. Yeah. To be honest, um, it's, uh, I think at least the sixth time we've had his majesty in the live with me. He does pop down sometimes. And I always appreciate it. As I say, he's a very busy man. That's why the horse is standing to attention. He's not sure if the king is just inside it still. <laughs> very odd people walking along here. Somebody just being back behind the white lines for the guards. Thank you, Lars. That's really kind of you. It is, yeah, this horse is flawless. What do you want spending so much time filming it? Uh, no, you never, ever, 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 ever get anybody touching the horse here um, by decree of the king. So, for example, if I stand it for, I don't know, the next five, ten minutes, nobody will come anywhere near to the horse or touch it. You'll see, look, guarantee it. So respectful distance by everybody. I'm serious, you watch. No, no one is going to come near this horse or touch it while I'm standing here. Guarantee it. Horse is too royal for all of these peasants, guys, that are standing here. Well, I think I'm not going nearby. So peasant, peasant proof horse. No, nobody's been anywhere near the horse there. It's impossible. I've never seen that here. The guard is an exception. The guard is allowed, everybody. No, that's not true, Gino. I didn't see that. If you saw that in the camera, it's probably the ghosts again. They sometimes can pop up here in life. Soldiers. It might, yeah, occasionally it might. I said the guard's the only person that's allowed anywhere near the horse. What do you think that sword is for, everybody? If a toys gets near the horse, that sword ends up in a different position. See, look, all of the peasants, including me, are way back. Completely peasant proof, this area. Hey, Shannon, welcome back. Okay, like I said, guys, no one gets close ever. Oh, here we have uh, lawbreakers. I think that might be the, one of the king's cousins, everybody, on the left. Yeah. That's the king's cousin. That was nice, the guard pulled the horse over specifically for the boy. That was a really nice moment actually, that was a very nice moment. And I don't think anybody else saw that folks, because everyone else on the other side. Yeah, very, very sweet and thoughtful on, on the part of the guard. No, there's no one touching the horse. What are you talking about? There's no one even close to the horse right now.
wants to be completely left alone. In fact, the tourists are basically ignoring it. See? It's not a big horse. Well, uh, if this horse stood on my on my feet, I'd probably scream. So it's big enough. I told you, folks. See, you never ever see people touching the horse here. Cause that's just wrong. Oh, what's that red thing on the screen? That red. Guys, you see these what's those red lines on the screen? I never saw that before. Wow. No, we've definitely got a few horse psychologists in the chat. Apparently one is Professor of Horse Psychology at Harvard. Uh, in a minute they're going to give us their diagnosis that the horse is depressed. Parents got rid of the kids that were screaming. It's a temperature balmy. This way. In a bit. the horse being touched. When did somebody touch the horse? That's not true. There's no one there. There's no one even close to the horse. Oh, Harrods plus the horse. What more would you want in life, ladies? Two H's that matter to everybody in London. Horses and Harrods. I think the horse was hoping she bought some treats from the Harrods food hall, but apparently not. This horse really likes carrot cake. Yes, that's a good point. Hermes, you're right. Damn it. I forgot about that. No touch. No touch. It's always telling people not to touch. Uh, hello. Yeah. 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 Somebody in my life was saying that, that you're his uncle. Yeah. He's got a great smile. He's so smart, hasn't he? He's a nephew. My son's been touching him straight. He got real popular. Oh, he's laughing now. Look, got a little bit of a giggle on. He was real. One second. Oh, he's going to laugh again. He was real popular uh, because somebody caught his eye a couple of weeks ago over there. Lady with an umbrella. Um, still don't know if he knew them or not, uh, but he, he got a big smile on. That's one of the rare times. I'm not sure who it was, but yeah, he couldn't he couldn't hold it in. Um, and people love that when they smile because they almost never smile. Oh, look, he's trying to hold it in now. I'm going to put the camera away. I'm making blush. Good lad, though. He's very popular. Very popular. Yeah, like really popular. Um, not yet, I think you saw a little bit earlier, somebody came up with a, with a 
boy was special needs. Yeah. He showed him exactly, he showed the boy exactly where he could touch the horse, etc. Some of them are not, not like that. He's yeah, he's a good heart. He's, yeah. Yeah, relatives of the guard are here, guys. That's who I was just talking to. Um, sorry, I moved the camera away because I didn't want him to start laughing. It's it's not fair on him. You know? Obviously, if I'm talking to his relatives, he's going to, uh, you know, uh, making him smile a little bit. But yeah, he's a, he's a he's a very good chap and very popular. Uh, you don't get the allure here, then Julie. With respect, why are you watching the live? Common sense, no. He is, yeah, a very kind-hearted soul. It's difficult, you know, obviously some of the gods, even though they don't seek it actively, some of the gods do get attention because of certain things that happen and because, you know, certain videos go viral. Now, none of the gods actively seek that, okay, they're very modest people, but of course... Huh? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting for this little idiot to say something else, watch what's going to happen. Seriously? Unbelievable, let's see. What stupid little kids here, guys, being silly. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Comedians. I'm surprised they're not off the circus, probably in the shops. Thank you, Debbie. Yep, I will be going inside in a second. Yes, yeah, little little silly boy trying to be grown up and failing miserable. It's run off now. Right, they're starting to push the gates closed. I think that's our cue, people, to get inside. Side gates closed and the middle gates are closed as well. So let's head on inside. See if we can find a good spot. Oh, luckily we've got the best spot. It's free. Lot, lot of people sitting on the floor today, actually. Boom, boom, boom. Here we are. Right, five minutes. The end of day. A good time, actually. Wait, I've just noticed the phone has got fourteen percent. Let me sit down and plug it in. It's a bit too close to uh, to the battery. I'm making the screen go off for my life. In one second, guys. Let me grab a seat on the floor. Don't worry about people getting in front of the camera. They'll all move once the uh, end of day begins shortly. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty busy. Plus, a lot of people are just sitting on the floor with their kids. That's going to be interesting for when the guard comes out. Because, obviously, a lot of people over on that side that are sitting down don't know that the guard behind them that lady guard uh, will come out of the arches to get in position. Yeah, I've got my uh, I've got my dirty waitress bag showing at the ready. Let's grab a grab a seat on the floor, folks, uh, and patiently await the captain. Why would you sit on the floor around horses? Uh, because I personally absolutely love getting horse manure on my clothes. Because what happens is when I make a salad at home, I scrape off those little horse dropping particles and boom, it tastes good. I tell you guys, it gives it a little crunch. Plus, you know, it's organic at the end of the day. What's there not to like? We don't know which captain is going to be, um, but I can pretty much guarantee with a high degree of certainty that it will be a Blues and Royals or a Life Bar captain. Just a wild hunch, guys, on my part, but I think it's, it's probable. Yeah, she's going to come out, I know, that's what I'm just thinking. Okay, so the police are pushing everybody back. Let's see what happens with the guard coming through in a minute. Oh, here they come. Here she, here she comes, wait. Love it. Love it. Brilliant. <laughs> Oopsie. So that Karen just got scored, folks. She gave a Karen glance like, how dare you push me? 
Love it. <laughs> Busy writing a complaint now, guys. She's going to complain to London District. This captain has the best voice. Wait for it. He's also a nice guy, genuinely good person. It's a circus which will ban. Thank you, clearly. What does he look for? Imperfection.
amazing. Ladies, let's be honest, that's the kind of voice that would pretty much convince you to do whatever, wouldn't it? Let's cap some. Maybe those two are going Maybe those even if, you know, he would never say it, but even if he said, where's my dinner? Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> no arguments. <laughs> Like this is just a place. Are we standing like this? Would you? If there's a horse, would you? Could I have horse? No, I have some. I could do that. Oxford! By the front! Reach hard! Go! This time, luckily, they almost out of the way for the lady guard. She didn't have to uh, make an example of any uh, any Karens that were in her way. Uh, in terms of how have they ever missed, uh, I think it's called a hilt, isn't it? When they put the sword back, no. Um, the reason being, in the first weeks of initial training, uh, they have what's called a small hole week, uh, and the guards spend that entire week putting very long, sharp things into small holes. That way, once they make it to the rank of captain, they never have to worry about missing the, uh, the hilt of the sword. So that is uh, the answer to that question, folks. No need to worry about it. Bingo. One second. Let me get the, uh, the bag. One minute, everybody. Oh, goodness me. Even the little tripod is playing up today. Hold on one second. Ah, okay. It's the bag. Sorry, it is indeed. Sorry, Debbie. I was trying to think of what it's called. I couldn't remember it. Oh, somebody put a shout out in the archers. That was quick. Always a matter of time before, boom, someone is over there getting shouted at. And we're going to see who it was in a second, hopefully. Or maybe, I should say. Quite possibly. I think, weird enough as it sounds, the... Uh, the funniest moment of the day was actually that woman getting pushed out of the way. The reason that was unusual is that the lady, the very petite lady guard that pushed her out of the way, I've never seen her do that before. So I was genuinely surprised when we saw that. I mean, pleasantly surprised, but still surprised nonetheless. One second, folks. Let me just get this uh, battery pack in the right place. Still charging the phone a little bit. Okay, up we go. There's always tourist naughtiness at this, uh, this final moment of the day when people are crowding around the arches. That's 
it. Right, bingo. So we got some decent power, etc. Okay. Nope, I will not be doing any more lives today. Uh, this is live number two already today. My next live will be me laying down in a room in the dark. I'm not sure if anybody actually captured who it was in between that. Because the other guys have left, I think. Ginny, that's exactly what I'll be doing in about 30 minutes or so when uh, the live is finished. I'm at home. No, I didn't get migraines or headaches like I No, my pleasure, folks. And hey, the good news is, is if we didn't have enough today, we'll have some more tomorrow. That's right, Sunday fun here at Horse Cards. Uh, be back around London in the uh, in the autumn, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, Captain, I think he's about to leave everybody on horseback. Why do I think that? Because the trooper has just dropped down the chain. However, there's no horse yet on the inside. I don't know where the horse is uh, or why the horse isn't there. So, yeah, Saturday sometimes is crazy busy. Some Sometimes... Uh, some, there's the captain actually, wait, maybe his horse is out the back. Hey, thank you, I try to make it as enjoyable as possible. I'm not sure 100% that he will leave on horseback, because the lifeguards are definitely here tomorrow, I can tell you that. So there's, there's no way of knowing, but we'll see. I'll sort of stay around the arch area just in case. Oh. Actually, one second. I can see a horse being led out and taken to the left, which is where the captain is. Yeah, the captain's going to leave on his horse, everybody. Get ready for it. 100%. I'm not quite sure why that troop is being taken in, but the gates are open. Oh, they're actually changing over the, uh, the chitsman. Okay, so that's being done. Any memorable yells? There was an exceedingly memorable push. Uh, some Karen got pushed out of the way when she wasn't paying attention behind us. Okay, I'll keep my eye on there whilst we're looking at the archers. I mean, they took the horse round, and he went the same way, so oh, I, yeah. I, you know, I, I think he will. I should say. The other day when I was here, he, he, came, here. The he came and they, went they do, the front. It's very odd. They do. Have you seen that before? Of course. I was going to say you've never seen it before. I'm the longest. No, I know, but Ten. I always, when you're not here, I always ask him. When there is uh, oh, here we go, everybody. Nice salute there. Lovely footage of the tourists moving out the way as the captain goes through the tunnel. <laughs> 